The Board of Education recognizes the value of public comment on educational issues and the importance of providing an opportunity to the public to express themselves on school-related matters of concern to the residents of East Brunswick, to allow for a fair and orderly public comment period and in accordance with Board Policy 167, <coughs> Individual comments are limited to five minutes. Members of the public are reminded that this is a public televised meeting of the Board of Education. To protect the privacy of all students and staff, concerns regarding individual students and staff members should generally be addressed by first meeting with the appropriate administrative staff, according to New Jersey Statute 10412B. Is there anyone that would like to address the Board this evening? Please just come to the podium and just name your, uh, give us your name and address. Hi. Um, Hi. My name is Shirley Song. My address is 8 Mitchell Avenue. So thank you for this opportunity. This evening, I'd like to speak about incorporating gender equity issues into our education. So as a rising high school senior, I have spent 12 years in the East Brunswick School District, and I would first off like to commend the really great social climate that um, this district has strived for and, in my view, accomplished in terms of gender equity. I've never faced major problems with my peers, and on paper, equal opportunity is both uh, truly provided and encouraged of students. But there are factors that persist underneath this that affect students of all genders at times with no one really necessarily at fault. Because it is a problem when girls feel pressured to keep silent in math class, and that becomes women feeling pressured to keep silent in the boardroom. It's a problem when boys excluded from discussing family matters becomes them losing custody battles of their children. When kids feeling uncomfortable talking about their differences becomes adults feeling uncomfortable communicating with their partners. The students in this township will move on to college, a whole different ball game, and the colloquially called real world in the near future. And aside from our immediate community, it is undeniable that nationally and globally, we are still faced with problems stemming from gender. Throughout the past few months, such issues have captured the headlines in ways that bear relevance to all of us. Malala Yousafzai provided a story of stunning inspiration in her activism for girls' education. Emma Watson gave a speech at the United Nations launching her He for She campaign. Most recently, the U.S. Women's National Team won the World Cup, raising outrage over how the previous year the U.S. men's team was paid four times as much prize money for losing before reaching the quarterfinals. The concept of gender shapes the fabric of our society, and it is imperative for students to be aware and engage in dialogue over such issues. Now, while I'm not acquainted with how the curriculum is planned, etc., I simply have an idea that I believe very strongly in, and that I have received incredible support in. I submitted an application to start a club at the high school this uh, previous May called Perspectives, and the name is meant to reflect the belief that considering the perspectives of a diverse, a diverse range of people is essential, and the value of open-mindedness and respect in discussing issues of gender. This club would provide a forum and safe space for discussion and um, be a group for activism for both men's and women's rights. The Middlesex County Center for Empowerment has agreed to a partnership should this club come to fruition, offering and explaining their support through a letter that I have a copy of if um, I should pass that around. Sir. We've gathered over 250 student and teacher signatures, and a detailing of our possible plans um, is also on a copy of a paper I have. Now, I'm currently taking a course at the Rutgers University in the Department of Gender Studies, and a common sentiment held by the students and professors that I've come in contact with is that such education needs to begin earlier. I'm fortunate to be in a position, still in high school, where I can address that, but of course it takes more than just one person. I understand there are logistical difficulties behind making any changes, but I hope the board simply considers what I've said, and I'd very much appreciate further discussion on this proposal. Thank you for your time and attention. Thank you. Dr. Valetsky, could uh, Mr. Figueroa explain the process for establishing a club? Sure. Uh, there's a certain amount of clubs that are allowed at each school. Um, if you wanted to be part of a new club, you would take it to the administration. Uh, they would be able to tell you whether or not there's an opportunity for either an equal access club, which is a different type of, of club that we also have at the schools um, that may be in addition to the normal set of, uh, I think it's 15 at the high school. And, uh, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> 
and uh, otherwise it would have to replace one of the existing clubs uh, which is something the administration would be able to talk to you and any other interested students about and I can actually reach out to Dr. Vanella regarding your your request have you spoken to him already about this um, yes I have okay. so before this I was under the impression that clubs at the high school are being reevaluated this summer um, to perhaps open new spaces, and I've sent him an email. Okay, they're evaluated every, at the end of every school year, right. um, just so that you know that, so that we see how how well they functioned during the previous year and what changes need to be made. Each building's administration does that. Mm -hmm. So uh, maybe after this meeting, if you're still here, we can talk a little bit, or you can uh, send me an email so I can follow up with Dr. Vanella for you. Okay. You. Right. How have we determined there's only 15 clubs at the high school? I believe it's. That that determination was made uh, a number of years back uh, as a result of budgetary constraints, and so we have thresholds in terms of the maximum number of clubs at each of the schools. Okay, maybe it's time for the board to take a peek at that number, if necessary, if appropriate. I mean, I, had, I didn't know we were actually locked in for each school, but maybe we. Okay, maybe we talk about that. Mm -hmm. Todd, you know that would be a really good topic for the sub when the. Extracurricular subcommittee. Probably right. In the global mm -hmm. Probably exactly. It's domain. actually it's actually in there. Is as it? one of the, the topics to review. That would review, be an excellent topic. Review the clubs. Look at that. Yeah. There you go. Everybody's on the same page. That's right. right. Like that. Right. Is there anyone else that would like to address the board this evening? Seeing none, we'll close the uh, public portion and move on to our action items.